Now the title is Contributing to CanSCI for Better Testing and Collaboration. And I'm Alisu Tachibana. Thank you for coming. So uh, I Gentukan a project leader and I did Gentukan SCI. And for Can SCI, I'm uh, part of a technical steering committee. And I'm KCI, one of the Can SCI project uh, creators. And I'm also uh, part of the CIP, of the testing working group. And I contributed some parts to KSF test in the past. And I'm also a software engineer for Miracle Linux, uh, powered by Sabertas Japan and QLTD. There, where I'm uh, doing MLinux, that is embedded in distribution, and I'm the lead CI system development. So uh, today I will give a little background about what I did in kernel testing, and then explain uh, why we have kernel CI. Uh, I will show some data about kernel CI growing, and then I will talk about how kernel CI is changing recently. <clears throat> and I will show you one of the project of uh, kernel CI. Uh, I will show some project of kernel CI, actually. Uh, so with dashboard, uh, KCI dev, uh, KCI dev, uh, KCI easy. And then I will talk about the next step of kernel of uh, this project, some of this project. <coughs> so I did uh, for Gen2, uh, Gen2 kernel CI. Uh, that is based on BuildBot framework. I don't know if how many knows BuildBot Stand up your hand if you know Billboard. Oh, so someone knows Billboard. Nice. And then I did CanSCI. Uh, and I'm doing some part of CanSCI. And the case I've test in the past. So, CanSCI <coughs> is good for uh, testing uh, the Linux uh, mainline kernel and especially for the uh, long-term support for the Linux mainline based product. Uh, and so he's doing test of the Linux kernel on mini hardware. And for uh, both for the upstream tree, but also for like development tree or uh, anyone can request his own tree to be in the kernel CI. And CanSCI is trying to consolidate the effort of testing in uh, Linux kernel. So it's trying also to be an umbrella for many different projects uh, and try to have some working groups and standard dedicated for the test of Linux kernel. And then he's helping, trying to help hardware vendor address for technical and business. So, uh, the, um, the project that I will talk today is about uh, mostly the dashboard and case dev. And so recently, uh, KNSI is changing, so it's starting to make uh, Maestro. We are starting to make Maestro and new dashboard in case, in case I dev. And also, the architecture is a bit changing from from CanSCI legacy, so the past CanSCI. So we are now supporting 220 build configuration. We are running boot test over 45 different hardware platform, and we have seven different uh, continuous integration system under CanSCI that are sending result to CanSCI. Uh, actually, eight if we count legacy and Maestro as different. Uh, continuous integration system, but in this case, we are considered the same. So, last month, we have 6.18 million results test and 140,000 build. 
and you can help make uh, kernel CI big by sending your own uh, tree to kernel CI. And for doing that, you can just open an issue to the uh, kernel CI GitHub project or contact to the kernel CI mailing list. <coughs> So we have a new testing architecture, and we move from uh, the legacy kernel CI to the new kernel CI. So we added the Maestro and KSEDEV and the web dashboard. And so Maestro is for storing a test spec a watch entry, build artifact, and generate a test at the event. And web dashboard is the web dashboard of uh, current uh, kernel CI. It's still work in progress. Like, we still have uh, running the legacy uh, web dashboard, but in the same time, we are making a new one. And case dev is uh, another part. <laughs> but I will explain later, but So just for giving a view of a new dashboard, but yeah, I, I will not so firm too much about, in this presentation about the dashboard. So my idea of continuous integration is that uh, it should help, uh, it should support your work, not just be your doing CI, but, also, but it should support the work that you're doing on the CI. So it should be help for kernel developers. So I, as I was using Billbot for Gentoo kernel CI, uh, Billbot, one of the system that is using is Billbot try. And Billbot try is practically a command for sending uh, the code that you're making to uh, to the billboard system for being builded. And I thought that something, si uh, we, we thought that something similar was nice also to have on uh, kernel CI. So <clears throat> where you can like write some code on the Linux kernel and have uh, kernel CI testing such code. And one of the things that billboard try is doing is that you don't even have to commit such code. Like just you write some uh, some patch, and then you send the buildbot try request to buildbot, and buildbot will start building your kernel. And that is what I was doing with Gentoo kernel CI. So I thought it would be nice to have such things also for uh, kernel developers that want to test his own uh, code. So we started to write some tool for maintainers, actually, uh, kernel CI had some tool in the past, but was mainly used on the uh, kernel CI machine. And so we started to write some new tool. And this new tool is KCI Dev. <coughs> so I'm going a bit too fast. So KCI Dev uh, is a command line for interacting with uh, a kernel CI server that have uh, the API enabled for receive uh, kernel CI, uh, KCI Dev request. And it's practically using the current kernel CI API. Actually, at this time, we have the legacy API, the new API is a bit confusing, but uh, now, KCI Dev is talking with both API of kernel CI, so <laughs> legacy and new API. <clears throat> so we are trying to give an uh, easy way to work on the code, but also to see the result from the command line for uh, doing like filtering result of kernel CI, doing work over the kernel CI result. And yeah, that is one of the kernel uh, potentiality about uh, 
Kishia de, about, about the KNSI result, like uh, not just using the dashboard for see the result, but also having your result directly on your command line for doing some work. Like uh, you can have a mass of results because it's doing, uh, as I say, we have like some six dot something million tests running. So it's possible to do at least with no, not everything because everything probably if you do everything you will crash a bit. And I say, yeah, but some part you can work on some part of it. And is uh, so is invisibly implemented in the development script workflow, workflow, and at least what we thought is for making such things for the community. So yesterday, <laughs> uh, we released KCDF uh, on the uh, Python repository. And uh, you can test if you want. You can download and install. So I will show a little demo about KCDF. So KCDF result is, mm, I think, I don't know if it's I think this one is the max uh, resolution that I can give. But so we are installing KCI Dev and sending KCI Dev. Uh, we have the help command line, so you have the. You have the checkout, uh, commit, uh, and result, and test retry. And now I just show you the. Uh, this is the setting of, uh, so you have the pipeline, I think this one is the new pipeline, new API and the legacy API. <laughs> so you have four, uh, you have, but the, in the future we hope to have just one. And uh, at least a staging and production. So I will ask the uh, instant staging so to get the result for the uh, staging uh, server of CanSCI and it will get such a result on the command line. And then you can like do something like with grab, less, whatever you want with this. And yeah, and I think this all for the result part. And yeah, in the future we want to add like filtering or uh, maybe better visualization of such result. to go back to the presentation. Uh, okay. And then the second command that we made is uh, dev checkout. KCI's checkout is used for um, for sending. Uh, practically, uh, you check out the Linux kernel commit, and with tip of the tree, you get the last commit of Linux kernel, and you are sending such uh, kernel uh, patch to the. Uh, CanSCI server, and CanSCI will start the job for baseline and for uh, I don't I don't I can read uh, for Qualcomm uh, Chrome OS, and uh, it will ask to the server. Now we are using the staging server, so not the production one. So it will send the request of building such 
uh, of building such a job. And it will wait for the job finish to build. It takes 20 minutes, so I will skip to the. So it will start a different job. Uh, yeah, I send it this morning, and then it starts to get some job that is passing, and some job that uh, is still don't know the result, and we wait for until we have everything that's passed. And Yeah, so it can be like used on some on some script that you want to see the result of some job that you send to the current CI. And yeah, uh, and this is using the Linux Foundation current CI. So the, the only thing is that on the uh, current CI view, uh, you can do also without requesting a token to current CI, but for sending build requests or retry requests, you need a token from the uh, current CI. So you need to request the token to the GitHub, I think, and they will send you the token of the API, and then with the token of the API, you can start to send the build or rebuild, or uh, like sometimes can say uh, some requests for rebuilding, like if something is failing. And this can be done by the command line. There is a documentation that is not yet updated to uh, uh, PyPy repository because we made, uh, we, we released it yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we will update to the PyPy installation. No, no, currently is using poetry for buildings. So KCDF is also being released on uh, Linux Foundation Insight. Uh, but it's still in beta, so the data is a bit strange sometimes. It's old. So I don't know, if someone of Linux Foundation that know about this tool can give a look, uh, it would be nice. <laughs> uh, because I, I, I actually don't know how much is updating data. Or, and uh, now like it's, it's listing me to time. And uh, uh, recently is sending different that I don't know. So uh, what is missing in the future? We want to uh, to the checkout command. Uh, we want to add a test option uh, for match the test and returning the code to shell for doing your test directly on your shell. So if someone fail, you can just uh, request the code, send it to your shell. And another thing is uh, we are trying to add a bisection, so you can use that KCI dev for send the bisection to CanSCI. And then we want to continue to expand the functionality for uh, uh, every feature that now is giving the uh, CanSCI API. So also using the CanSCI storage system for uh, like when you want to do a on-the-fly patch without committing it, you can just send the patch to the CanSCI storage and ask CanSCI to build such patch. And this is one of the things we, that we want to do in the future. And then we want to add better filtering for, uh, and also, like currently, uh, test log and boot log is just printing the link, but we want also to be able to show such log, or anyway, be able to request in some way such log. And recently, some in CanSCI started to talk about using uh, data for doing uh, 
can you say data and doing um, uh, machine learning or uh, AI over such kind of CI data. And I just thought that one of the solution would be to use KCI dev result for showing the result and doing uh, your parsing of such data. So it will be nice to have such things in the future, but I don't know if it will be about K with, done with KCI dev or directly on the database. I still don't know. But it would be nice to have on KCI dev. And like I at first started KCDF only for uh, uh, only for sending build requests. Like I didn't thought about uh, retry build. Uh, I just thought about sending your code and testing your code, but. Also, B section. I didn't thought about B section, but like he is getting many uh, suggestions of implementation of KSDF that we didn't thought about. Uh, so, if you have any suggestion of uh, implementation for KSDF, you are welcome to send feedback to KSCI uh, mailing list. And another thing is there was some talk about uh, private CI, like using CI for uh, locally. And there is, uh, we have uh, uh, bo both for development purpose, but also some company talking about uh, patent copyright for critical information or such things. And there is a way for deploying uh, CI locally that is um, KCI Easy, that is a system for uh, practically one command line for deploying your CI on your machine. It's using Docker, it has many, uh, many dependencies, so anyway, it has. Yeah, it's one command, but you need anyway to have Docker and stuff such things. But it is nice for development, and uh, we hope maybe uh, that with uh, adding more setting, uh, it can be used also for other things other than development, like having a local mini version of the kind of CI. So the next step that uh, if we, we thought is like improving uh, not only CI tool, but tools for the developer community. And that's why we made uh, KCI dev. <coughs> and also in my implementing new feature and improve the existing feature to KCI dev and also uh, improve the local version of CI. And we are open to get feedback from the community. So, you should consider joining CI uh, to have collaborating and unification of test effort to ensure that the CI community the CNSI community can keep developing and maintaining the code base, which the world relies on to be stable and secure. So, yeah. <coughs> that is one of the reasons KCI dev was. So, If you want, you can join the CNSCI community. Everyone is welcome to join. And we have, um, anyone is welcome to join. And 
uh, if you have any suggestion about the tool, tools that I show in the presentation, uh, you are welcome to give feedback about how it can use, how it can be implemented. And can I say I have a community weekly meeting on Jitsi that everyone can join? And there is this various discussion about Canessia, not only about the tool that I talked about today. We also talk about other parts of Canessia, like KCIDB and uh, Maestro. So everything related to Canessia, it can be part of the community weekly meeting. So just only for listening, if anyone is interested. Please join the community weekly meeting. Then we have IRC and GitHub feedback. If anyone has feedback, where is really this? And my presentation is finished. I think we are a bit fast in time. So uh, anyway, I have no knows about uh, Billbot try, Billbot. So uh, there is someone that knows about Billbot try. Yeah, it is a little feature of Billbot, and I thought it was really nice when I used it, and that was one of the inspiration of KCI Dev. So. If you have any suggestion for KCLF, like how can be used or any other project that I talk about, uh, if there is question or something. Hi, very interesting talk. Um, do you generate any attestations after you do your testing and things like that, like salsa or Intoto attestations? Sorry, do you generate a DAF? Attestations, like Intoto or salsa attestations, so that you can prove to, you, you would sign and say, I've actually run this testing. Like a like new test? Like, uh, or decided which test to run? No, so, so, after you've run your tests, yes. Um, just like, let's say you want to build something, so you go and you say, "I took this thing in, yes. I built it. Here's what came out," and you generate an attestation. So we've yes. seen in cases where companies are not testing or things aren't being adequately tested, and so mm -hmm. there's also a desire to be able to say, "I took this code and I ran tests over it, and the yes. test passed." Yeah, it's um, it's something that we want to do, but it's something that we didn't already okay. added. Thank you. But yeah, it is a function that we want to add. So, like, um, when building the kernel and such, uh, are like the builds reproducible so that someone else can get the same results from the same config? Yeah, that is an interesting question. Like, I don't uh, know Nick's the specific OS or about Geeks. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's reproducible. Uh, I think maybe. <laughs> I don't know how much, but hmm. uh, yeah, I, I don't have a reply to such question, uh, but yeah. When we figure out how to make the test script work, uh, we will see maybe to make also reproducible. Yeah. Well, I think it's a good idea to have a reproducible test. And is the community just mainly Jitsi or what? I didn't really understand. Like, where can we reach out the community wise? Ah, KCI Dev community, KCI community. They are both the same, so. Okay. Uh, there are the community weekly meetings, or uh, there is IRC, GitHub, and recently uh, there is discussion about having also Discord. 
<laughs> yeah. So you can also join by Discord in the future. He is currently on votation of the TSC. And yeah, the, the test things, yeah, is one of the future plan to have a test option to match test and return corresponding code to shell for doing uh, like testing on the shell. But yeah, it's not implemented yet. We, we are, we, we will implement. Any other question? Right. Mm. Yeah. If there is no other question, thank you for coming.